Let's turn to the Philippines. It suffered a terror attack yesterday, a bomb blast. People attending a Catholic mass were targeted. Reports say four of them were killed, dozens were injured, some are critical, fighting for their lives. So who was behind this attack? ISIS or the Islamic State, they've claimed responsibility. Now look at where it happened, a university gym in the city of Marawi. That's where the Catholic mass was being held. Now Marawi is a city in southern Philippines on the island of Mindanao. And Mindanao has a history of religious extremism, but we'll get to that later. For the moment, let's update you on Sunday's attack. Like I said, Catholic worshippers were on target. President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. has called it a heinous act perpetrated by foreign terrorists. He has put the army on high alert. The suspected attackers are still on the loose and a massive manhunt has been launched. So uh, we have alerted also our units, all of our units in uh, Mindanao, as well as uh, our other units, uh, just like with the Philippine National Police here in the uh, Metro Manila area. So uh, that is the update from the AFP side. We are continuously uh, gathering intel operations so that we will be able to run after the perpetrators of this terroristic attack. The Philippines sees the bombing as a threat to its national unity, that's what they've called it, an attempt to stoke religious tensions. Let us remember that this was done in a religious uh, occasion uh, in, 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 in Marawi, and uh, the intent really to uh, foment a terrorist, a terrorist uh, activity to, to foment confusion, chaos, is a prime indicia of a terrorist activity. Officials say the explosive was made from a mortar round. Shrapnel ripped across the gym as the bomb went off. Fragments and blood covered the scene of the attack. One of the survivors recounted the horror. We went to the 7 a.m. mass. Everyone was focused during the mass. Then during the first reading of the priest, there was a sudden explosion. Everybody started running and when I looked back, I saw a number of bodies on the ground. This has been the story of the Mindanao province. They have a history of religious extremism. For years, the Philippine armed forces have been fighting this. In fact, a day before the Catholic mass bombing, Manila launched one of its biggest anti-terror operations of the year. Even fighter jets and attack helicopters were deployed. Reports say 11 Islamic terrorists were killed, which brings us to the question, was yesterday's bomb blast an act of retaliation? Manila is not ruling out the idea. <clears throat> Listen to this. Nothing against uh, the terrorist groups in the whole area of uh, Western Mindanao, dito sa Maguindanao, sa Lanao, and uh, dito sa Basilan, maaring retaliatory attack yung nangyari kanina ng umaga. No? So that is one angle that we are looking into. And this is not the first such attack. The city of Marawi has been attacked by the Islamic State before. In 2017, Marawi saw a five-month-long siege, a battle between the Islamic State and the Philippines, the government of the Philippines, their army. Hundreds of civilians were killed. Thousands were wounded. Eventually, the Islamic State was defeated. But the city was left in ruins. Since the siege of Marawi, smaller extremist groups have continued to launch attacks. Sporadic bombings have been carried out in public areas. The victims have mostly been civilians. Yesterday's bombing is the latest such instance, and it has raised some unsettling questions. Is this the return of religious extremism? <clears throat> Classes have resumed in the university, but with a much higher security presence. The Philippine army is combing the area, looking for the suspects behind the blast. They're in a hurry to neutralize the terrorists. Because the resurgence of the Islamic State and a repeat of 2017 is the last thing that Manila wants.